is the true story of six motherfucking strangers being put in a motherfucking house. And having motherfucking lives take. Find out what happens when people start being all polite and start being real. Mad real. Mad real real. Hoboken. Right? Hi. All right. <laughs> When I first entered the house, um, you know, needless to say, I was a little surprised to meet the other roommates. Sorry. Hey, what's going on? My name is Chad. <laughs> I don't really hang out with too many black people. Who ordered pizza? No, no, no. I, I, I'm your new roommate, right? You want a, want a room? No. Uh, all the bands are full. Yeah. You had the room with Tyree. <laughs> My name is Tyree. And yeah, I went to prison. I'm your, I'm your roommate, Chad. Well, look at here, Chad. For the entire period you in my room, I bet not catch you standing up peeing. You sit down when you pee, you understand? That's right. Now get your fat ass on out of here, white boy. Night night, keep your butt hole tight. Here's how I'm some cotton doctors. What's the square root of his apartment? He didn't know what he was getting himself into, you know? They gave us a job running the juice bar. All right, enjoy. Thanks a lot. I wasn't really crazy about the way some of the other roommates um, acted in the juice bar. Look at me and Marv, I'm making juice. I call this a Tron special. Oh yeah. This right here is a good It's better if uh if Get out of my face, nigga! I'm making juice. Alright? Fine, fine. You make your juice. I, I don't know. I'm... They didn't have much respect for the job. Alright. All right. Hey, uh, guys, you know, uh, we're here to work, not play. You know, we can't have this conversation every day. Hey! Okay. Yo, what is your problem, man? Why you want to work so hard, huh? Yeah, man, America want to see us live, not work. Look at me, America. Look how Tron is living for the city. Yeah. Where is that is? It's a place of business. Well, bring some juice back. Tell me some juice, bitch. I'm thirsty. You been Philly blood, son. And a banana cognac, bitch. Come on, I'm picking a clap. I'm picking a clap. Police! Police! Come this way. This way. Come on, y'all. Give me my money. Tyree, give me my money. My girlfriend Katie came in from Maine. So great to spend some quality time with her. Hi, my name is Katie. I know we're still young, but I get the feeling that Katie, you know, she might be the one. <laughs> Tyree made me really uncomfortable the way he was looking at me and Katie. There's something in his eyes that kind of scared me, you know, and uh, it wasn't appropriate. And then there was that one night in my room. Say, get your ass up. I need that bed. I got company. My man Lysol, fresh out the joint. Yeah. H Hello, Lysol. What's up? No problem, Tyree. Come on, Katie, let's go. No, nah, nah, son. Oh, she could right. stay. You know what, Chad? I'm gonna stay here. Lysol and Tyree, they're just <laughs> genuinely nice guys. What you waiting for, man? Get your fat ass out of here before I cut some bacon off your back. 
we stop. Damn. Uh, yeah, we're gonna send that back to the joint so you know how we living out here, you know what I mean? <laughs> I saw Katie with uh, Tyree in Lysol, and um, I worked my way through it. <laughs> Do your thing then, doggy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yo, did you hold it down? You're trying to make love over here. It's good to be alone for a minute in the confession room. <laughs> Niggas is wildin'! I remember that we were, we were all joking around and Tron got me in a, uh, a sleeper hold. I don't think he meant to hurt me, but uh, I, I, I don't, I'll be honest, I don't remember a whole lot after that. We gonna take Chad upstairs, you know what I'm saying, and tuck him in. <laughs> oh, okay, that's nice, yeah. Be careful if you get a sleeper hold, because the next day your anus will really hurt. <laughs> You know, I'll admit it, uh, when my dad came by, I was a little bit concerned. Hey guys, I'd like to introduce you all to my dad. I brought some brownies. You got weed in them? <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for that white boy, but his daddy shouldn't have looked at her like that, so you know. Cause I don't like how you looked at me. Why you gotta look at me like that? Sandra, I apologize. I don't know how I'm looking at you. Like that. Like what? Oh, look, look, he's doing it. I'll look over here. You don't know how to talk to people. Why you gotta be looking at me, white man? I'm not looking at anyone. If someone could... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I've been stabbed. Sandra, I've been stabbed. I don't know what I did. You came to the house with sis. Wow, that's what you did. I, 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 I'm bleeding. Hey, guys, what's going on out there? <laughs> Boys tripping. You people, what the hell you mean, you people? I think we need to have a house meeting, y'all. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, yeah. The reason why we call this house meeting is because we just don't feel safe with you in the house anymore, Chad. Are you serious? I don't feel safe. We kind of thought you should leave, man. Dad. I should leave. <laughs> Tyree, you, you stabbed my dad. <laughs> and you had sex with Katie. Wait a minute, you got that all wrong. I ain't have sex with Katie. Lysol had sex with Katie. I just filmed it. <laughs> hey, Tyree, you had sex with me too. Correction, I had sex with Katie. <laughs> and now you want me to leave? I mean, really, man. We could just f you up. But you know, we try to be, you know, convenient about this. But worst come to worst, we reserve the right to f you up. You what? <laughs> Fine. I, I, I guess I'll go. Hey, Chad. I had sex with Katie too, man. <laughs> Katie has some big ass tit hairs. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you.